Why is it only you who misses the narcissist after the relationship ends? Why is it only you who has the questions like, was I the crazy one all along? How could I mess it up? Am I the narcissist? Why did the narcissist move on with their next supply and treat you as if you never existed? The answers to these questions are not quite simple and we need to explore them in depth for you to know the truth because truth will set you free. Let's explore it together in this episode. Hi, I'm Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. This episode is going to be all about understanding why narcissists do not miss you the way you miss them. If that sounds interesting and you want to learn more, please make sure to subscribe by pressing the subscribe button and push that bell icon to stay updated with everything latest that I post over here. Let's get started. First of all, you need to understand that narcissists do not have object permanence or object constancy, which means once you're out of their sight, you're out of their mind. You can think of it this way. A narcissist is like this four-year-old developmentally arrested child stuck in an adult's body who does not have the capacity to think or believe that someone or something can exist even when they can't see it or experience it. To go deeper into this example, you can think of a child, a four-year-old, who is playing with a toy and you take this toy away from them and you hide it. And the child right away may throw a tantrum or want it back, but then if they get distracted by something else, they forget about the existence of the toy. Why? Because they have not developed the capacity of experiencing reality far beyond what they're experiencing in the moment. They're quite in the moment, like right in the spot. Beyond this spot, they do not have any, have any awareness of the existence of other stuff. The same thing applies to a narcissist because a narcissist got developmentally uh, stuck and arrested. They did not develop this capacity and this has now become a dysfunctional pattern in their life. Once you stop serving their ego, once you're gone out of their sight, they stop thinking about you because you simply do not exist. You simply are not useful anymore. You are not resourceful to them. Why would they even think about you? This lack of object permanence becomes quite predatory here because they are quite tunneled in what they are perceiving. If they are garnering supply from this new person, that is what they what matters for them in the moment that is what they would focus on you only cross their mind when you call them or when they are low on supply and they want someone as a replacement that is the only time they think of you otherwise you, they just do not even want to think about you because that costs them energy that costs their focus and attention because of the narcissistic ego and grandiosity they don't think it's worth it once they leave you they leave everything behind. They don't miss the things they did with you because they were not in it while they were doing these things. They were simply following the script because they knew that if they were to do these these things, one, two, three in the list, they would be able to make you feel a certain way, which means weaponize your emotions that you feel towards them, but they felt none of those. They did those things without putting their soul into it, without being emotionally uh, connected and invested into the relationship into you they did it for the sake of doing it so they don't remember any of it it was quite mechanical for them they did not put any interest in it at all so once you are gone you are gone forever they don't think of you so they don't miss you at all the other reason is trauma bonding you are trauma bonded with the narcissist so it's given that you would miss their presence you would want to see them you would want to know what they are up to what they are doing who they are with who this next person is is this next person better than you you would crave their presence you would want to talk them with them at just one last time you would want to get closure you would have hundreds of questions you would have cognitive dissonance and you would be struggling between the two perceptions of the same person one part one side tells you that this this person was horrible but the other side that has the good memories makes you wonder makes you question well was he or she truly a narcissist if he was why did he do this good thing here and then you question the whole experience so this is what keeps this cycle of trauma bonding going on and on and on and you crave for their presence because you are highly dysregulated. Being this confused about the personality of this person, being confused about their true nature keeps you hyper vigilant all the time, keeps you dysregulated. And if I take you back to the relationship, look at what happened in there. The narcissist was the same person who gave you a lot of anxiety, who gave you a lot of trauma, who put you under a lot of stress, but he or she was the same person 
the only person who got you or brought you out of that miserable state. Of course, they did not do it intentionally. They did not want to do it. It's like they threw a breadcrumb at you. They just gave you this occasional nice behavior of theirs to keep you hooked and you thought, well, re the relationship is back uh, at the uh, the way it was in the beginning. The homeostasis has been restored, but none of that is the reality. So that is happening right now. You're craving that stability again, at least that perception of stability. You're craving that connection that you felt with them in the moment where they were on their best behavior. That is what is keeping you in this cycle of missing them again and again. They do not miss you because they were not in the same emotional state that they put you in. Their trauma bond looks completely different. They were trauma bonded because you gave them attention. You put them on the pedestal. You made them like the owner of your life. You gave them this perception that they have control over you and everything related to you. That was their trauma bond. That is their supply. That is what they kept coming back for. Now that they have found it somewhere else with someone else, they are not going to look for it with you or in you because they have already replaced you. The only time they would ever come back is when they are low on supply so that they can reestablish control. So. They do not miss you at all because they don't feel the need to miss you. They don't think about you. You are completely gone. They are not missing you. They don't have any guilt. They don't feel shame. They don't think they have done anything wrong. They don't think they have to correct anything. They don't have a conscience. That is the truth about it. They do not care about right or wrong. They do not think of the past. Once it's, once it's done, it's done. They don't go there anymore. So that was it for this episode. I hope you found it insightful. And if you did, please let me know in the comments and drop a like, share this video or the episode and make sure to subscribe. I'll talk with you in the next one. Till then, let the healing begin.